Amen. So we need to be fruitful. The apostolic message is to bring the church into true repentance, into true orthodoxy. And I told you, many have preached partially the repentance message because they have focused on the restoration of the heart, but in true orthodoxy, in the original intention of the apostolic message, it was supposed to reposition the mind. <clears throat> the mind. The mind has to shift. Our thinking has to shift. It has to change. That's why he said, let this mind be in you that was in the church. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> right? We need to change our mind. Yeah. We need our mind changed. Tell you that you need your mind changed too. Mind. Yeah, we got we had a lot of information come through our mind. Mm -hmm. We've been exposed to a lot of things in our mind. We had a, a level of allegiance and loyalty to a lot of things. We've been programmed in our mind. But only the mind of Christ will deliver you from mind games in the natural. Everybody got mind games. We all got triggers and buttons and things that we do to manipulate. I know it ain't going to get too loud in this church. Don't look at your husband or wife. Just keep looking forward. Amen. I ain't even look at mine. <laughs> but more thing about my wife, she don't play mind games. I got the real deal. I, I tell you, I, I, I try to get a little slick every now and then. She be like, uh, no, not here. I don't play here. You gotta, what you say? You gotta come real. You gotta come correct. Uh, what you saying? We can't deal. Right. You can't deal. Real. We can't deal. <laughs> uh, I have to put my weapon down. Hey man, my sword goes to pruning hooks quick. <laughs> Dealing with that lady. So, but we got to get the mind of Christ. We got to get, and we're not trying to reactivate our natural mind. We're trying to be renewed in the spirit of our mind so that we can be clothed with the mind of Christ. See, most of us want to go and refurbish mind. We need to be a renewed mind so that our perceptions can change. This is why it's so important for us to understand how to rightly divide repentance in its original intent or in the original form. As we look at it, and uh, we're going to look at it, I know I've said it over and over and over and over, and keep saying it because i, I got to see the fruit. Uh, so we looked it up, we dissected, right? We already know it's compounded two words. I'm going to give you some more information, so don't, don't slip out on me. Amen? But metanoia. So if we put it together, it means a change of mind. As it appears to one who repents of a purpose he has formed or something he has done. So that is the backdrop. If you look up any definition, most of us are going to say that. Even in, even in our definition, it doesn't even talk about uh, 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 feeling bad about yourself. Amen. Tears. You know, you know, Hebrews 12 and 17 say Esau tried to get his inheritance back because he, he had tears. God didn't even honor his tears. Okay, that'll go over pretty good. Yeah, you want me to honor him, though, but God don't even honor him. I'm going to and cry and spin and twirl. <laughs> we all got tears, but it should provoke you to a course of action. Yeah. Amen. You should shake yourself from it and say, you know, okay, God, what are you saying about this situation? I'm emotionally tied to it, and this trigger is in my life, but I want you to show me how to flip the right switch. There it goes. Amen. I'm tired of the enemy manipulating me. But that's the only way it's going to happen is you got to have this metanoia. you got to be transformed in your mind. So the word itself, we dissect, is comprised of two. It's a compound of two. Compo yeah, compound of two. One word. It's meta means to change or modify or transition from one thing to another. Noia is the ability to think or comprehend. It's the ability to do what? Think or comprehend. It, it's also akin to exercising the mind. That's why it's, it, you know Paul penned to the church in Philip. I let this mind be in you. You got to let it. You got to activate this mind. It's, it's deposited in us. We have the mind of Christ that lives in us. As First Corinthians says, matter of fact, we have the mind of the spirit. First Corinthians two talks about the mind of the spirit. We do have the mind. Yeah, we, we do have that in 1 Corinthians uh, 2, it, uh, 12, 13 to uh, 16, it talks about the, the adjudication of the new spirit, the spiritual mind. 
And how we have, the, in verse 16, it says, For who has known the mind of the Lord that we may instruct him, but we have the mind of Christ. So we have the deposit of the mind of Christ. The mind of Christ is, is in conjunction with the spirit man. Yeah. So the spirit man has to woo so. the mind, the soul. Exactly. The suke. The spirit. See, I can do this because we ain't got no guests. So, uh, they, I mean, they won't be uh, bored and me having to be uh, seminal with the teacher. But anywho, uh, yeah. So we need the mind, will, and emotion. We, we have not necessarily the two, but she's learning how to adapt to her husband. And her husband represents, which is the mind of Christ or the spirit of man, represents a new administration. Amen. That is how we change or modify or transition into another form. That is how we're able to possess or comprehend the prospects that, I mean, the, I said prospect, but it's the precepts of God. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yes. Which simply means it endows us to go beyond the traditional uh, construct with religion that's imposed upon us as being by letter or linear. But as we go beyond the mind, we live from inspiration. Mm -hmm. Amen. Truly, that's what we're supposed to live from. Mm -hmm. Inspiration. Mm -hmm. how, how many know that's, that's what it was, the cooler today, right? Mm -hmm. He walked with Adam and Eve in the cooler day. That's inspiration. Mm -hmm. The spirit of the day. That's how we're supposed to live. Now, we do have scriptures. We do have boundaries. Those are guardrails. Amen? That's, that's true. But we should go into a, a more excellent way. Is that we have a good foundation of what the scriptures represent. But we allow the Holy Spirit to bring us to a heightened reality. Which is found in the mind of Christ. Right? Amen. This is what repentance is all about. Amen? Amen. So I'm not trying, I'm not... Because if I think differently, I live differently. Yeah. As a man thinketh, so is he. So I have to change this. Yeah. This dome has to change. <laughs> this veil has to be rent. So there has to be a divine reversal in my thinking. That's why the word has to be written in the tablets of your heart. Because every time I acknowledge the authenticity of the word, and how do I acknowledge it? By participating in the spirit of revelation. All of a sudden, I'm acknowledging the authenticity of the word. And from within, I'm able to respond to God. That is what the true living witness is all about. I know most of us heard that when the spirit of truth comes, you know, like in John 16, you know, he comes to convict. You know, let's go there real quick. But that, no, no, that's not necessarily the sum total of John 16. Let's go there real quick for those that are watching for the first time. You know, some preacher telling us. <laughs> now the Holy Spirit come to convict you of sin. And everybody, that's why everybody want to do revivals. Because we need to be feeling bad about our sin. Right? The church needs to get right. because And then we use scriptures, Old Testament scriptures from uh, 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 Solomon. You ever heard it before? 2 Corinthians 7 and 14? Anybody remember that? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to start it off for you just to see. If my people, oh, that's 2 that's uh, Corinthians 7 and 14. If my people who are called by my name, can, can y'all walk with me? What does it mean? Come on, talk to me. <laughs> if it's humble, who? Humble uh -huh. Humble themselves and what? And then what? Yeah, turn, 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 right? And then what happened? He will hear us. And then, yeah, 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 yeah. That's an Old Testament scripture. Mm -hmm. I would go a little bit trying to challenge you, but I'm going to leave you alone right now. But John 16, we use it to say, and all the time we keep trying to say, we got to, it's my people, which are called them and humble themselves to pray. And those, that, that's sin consciousness. That's works. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It is. It reminds us consistently of where our flaw is. Yeah. Yeah. If my people 
I'm no shepherd, Brian. <laughs> but look at it. <laughs> look at it. Jesus in John 16, 7 said, Nevertheless, I'll tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go down away, the comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. And that word comforter, you already know what it is. He's the paraclete. He's the one called alongside us. It's the same spirit. It's the spirit of adoption. Same thing, different roles, right? And when he has come, he will reprove the world. Not the church. Of who? The world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Then he explains it so we won't mess it up. Verse 9, and we still messed it up. Of sin because they believe not on me. Not because they go to clubs. Come on. <laughs> Come on. That ain't what he said. He said the reason why people still do what they used to do is because they don't believe that I'm able to do it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> but once you wake up, I told you a long time ago, once you wake up, really wake up, you can never do what you used to do when you were asleep. I wish I would go look for a kilo. I can't do it. I'm awake. Amen. I wish I would go to another woman's house. I can't do it. I'm awoke. Yep. I don't look at me trying to go to my house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know all the stuff you gotta do on the download. You gotta have phones. You gotta switch up numbers. Man, I, I, that's too much. I'm 57 years old. Right. I ain't got time. I mean, come on. Now, if I gotta do all that hard, I just want to leave it alone. It's just the stuff you gotta do to just to keep that image up. <laughs> No, let me get back. <laughs> and by the way, I felt that way when I was 30 something. Uh -oh. yeah. Ain't because I'm old. Hello. <laughs> Hello. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just didn't want to go through all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I came out of that, man. Yeah. <laughs> I did that for 20 something years, man. I'm like, man, and I was tired then. Right. 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 <laughs> I was tired, man. Right. Yeah, yeah, like, man, I ain't know who to be with, what it will be with, who it is, call them the wrong name. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you get a little, you know, that yeah. juice in you, and you be like, calling them names, you know, like, that ain't me. Oh, I'm the best up now. <laughs> All the stuff you got to go through, man, to keep that. No, anybody got there? I just got one. Just come on, hey, boo. Come on, right. home. Find my house, pull up, get on out of the house, put my keys in the drawer, find a nice couch, get the remote. That's it, baby. That's all I can do. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm like Roberta Duran. No moss. <laughs> no moss, man. <laughs> but, <laughs> of righteousness because I go to my father and you see me no more of judgment because the prince of this world is judged. We try to pull down strongholds, but the prince of this world has been judged. There's not a soon coming judgment. There has been a judgment at the cross when he went, when he that who descended, ascended, he filled all things. He took the keys of death and hell. And the keys of death and hell, he has the keys of death and hell. I don't care what they tell you, he got the keys of death and hell. And if he got the keys, nothing in the earth realm from that point on can escape him. Even David had a sneak view. He said, uh, he said, if I make my bed, in, yep, he there. If I grab a hold of the wings of the morning, he there. So he feels all things. 